Now to East Palestine, just days before the one year mark of that toxic train derailment, we have new video to show you of the fire and plumes of smoke rising over the town hours after it happened. Experts on scene deciding to blow open the five tank cars filled with vinyl chloride, worried they might explode days after that train derailment. The National Transportation Safety Board just released more than a half dozen of these types of videos, along with documents unearthed in their investigation about what went into the decision to release and burn the vinyl chloride. And local and state leaders remain in East Palestine since that derailment, which spilled more than 100,000 gallons of chemicals to the area's soil and water. Tonight, Laura Queso continues our coverage with more from some officials who say East Palestine is safe. The East Palestine fire chief saw the disaster unfold firsthand. When his village evacuated, he stayed to secure the area and to keep his community safe. There is no denying he's fed up with the negativity surrounding the village, one he loves. Today, he tells me he is ready to move forward. Resilience. It's the word that comes to mind. One year after the toxic train derailment that spilled thousands of hazardous chemicals into this little town of East Palestine. Fire Chief Keith Drabick wasn't even on the job a year at the time, but he says he knows what this community wants now. They don't want the stigma of the contaminated town that everybody's gonna die in. They wanna grow, get back to where they were and be better than they were. He says the train company, Norfolk Southern, lived up to their promises, committing more than $103 million to the area, including $21 million paid out to residents who were upended by the derailment. Also a value assurance program ending February 9th, which compensates any reduction in value of eligible residential properties. Nobody can predict what's going to happen five years down the road, 10 years down the road, 50 years down the road. We, we don't know. Nothing like this has ever happened anywhere. What about the water that's been... What about the water? There's nothing wrong with it. And I, I use it every day. I used it from February 3rd on till now. I shower in it. I wash my pots and pans in it, my clothes in it. I cook with it. I drink it. I use the water to make my coffee. I drink coffee, lots of coffee every day. The EPA and Norfolk Southern both say the samples do not show amounts of hazardous chemicals. And Chief Drabick says he's never felt any health impacts. You can only go based on the information you have, the data you have. And the data we have, we're going to be okay. Are some people going to have effects from this? Absolutely. Everybody's different. Everybody reacts differently to different things. These, a lot of these were sensitizers. And Governor Mike DeWine knows there are concerns, especially for kids. We talked about it at the governor's mansion in Columbus in December. It's the unknown that is there. So we have, we're now subsidizing, uh, the state is subsidizing uh, a clinic uh, that is in East Palestine. People can go there right in the, right in the village, uh, get the health care that, that they need. We're going to continue, and we've pledged, we're going to continue to stay there and monitor the water. We're going to continue to stay there and monitor the air. Uh, we're seeing, I, Fran and I were there uh, about two weeks ago. We saw the new plant, water treatment plant. They now have the ability, uh, got, they got some money from the railroad, they, got, they have the ability now to uh, take out PFAS. Meantime, the state of Ohio just two months ago announcing 18 East Palestine businesses will get more than $3.3 million in forgivable loans to assist with recovery since the derailment. In the long run, they have to have prosperity. They have to have businesses. They have, people have to have a place to work. Governor DeWine, uh, and I, I don't have any political affiliation. I'm not, Governor DeWine is an amazing man, period. Um, he's done exactly what he said he was going to do for us. He has been here throughout the whole thing with us. As for the federal government, the White House just announcing President Biden will make a stop in East Palestine this month. But Chief Drabick says he thought the president was visiting back in September. I got called to go to a meeting at the airport because he was coming. I drove the whole way there, left my responsibilities here to drive there <clears throat> for a meeting for preparation for come to get there and be told he's not coming. Uh, you know, it, it is what it is. He's, I, 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 if he ever comes, he comes. It doesn't matter to me.
What does matter to him is moving forward as a stronger, healthier community, he says. Anything that you regret? Nope. It's pretty amazing. Nothing. We did what we did with what we had, the best that we could. I wouldn't change. I don't regret anything. I own up to all of it. Laura Queso, 3 News.